Let's look at how to convert decimal numbers to binary numbers. Now, decimal is sometimes known as deanery and also as base 10. Now, the reason that by, uh, the decimal is called base 10 is because it uses 10 digits. And well, those digits are 0 to 9. That's 10 digits altogether. Now, because we have 10 digits, what we do when it comes to place value is we have our units column and then we multiply by the number of digits we have. So that's 10. So 1 multiplied by 10 is, of course, 10. And then because we're in base 10, using 10 digits, each time we move one place to the left, we multiply again by 10. So we have our units, our tens, our hundreds, our thousands, and so on. Now, because we have 10 digits available, the digits 0 to 9, we can place any one of those 10 digits under any one of these columns to create a number. So let's, for example, put a 3 under the thousands column. That gives us 3,000. We put a 2 under the hundreds column, so we have 200. An 8 under the tens column, and a 5 under the units column. And so, of course, what we have is the number 3,285. So the important thing to think about is that with base 10, we have 10 digits and so each time we move one place to the left, we multiply again by 10. So what does this have to do with binary? Well, binary is otherwise known as base two because it only has two digits, zero and one. So when we th start thinking about our place value, We'll start, as always, with our units column. But because we're working in base 2, we multiply by 2 each time we move one place to the left. So 1 multiplied by 2 is 2. Multiplied by 2 is 4. Multiplied by 2 is 8. And so on. Now, we have the digits 1 and zero available to us. So we can put either a one or a zero under any of these columns. So let's put a one under this column, a zero under this column, a one under this column, and a one under that column. So in binary, we have the number one, zero, one, one. But what actually is that number? What's that number in decimal, the numbers that we normally count with? Well, think of it this way. If we were in base 10 and we had our ones, tens and hundreds, and we had the number 345, the way to work out that number is to say, well, how many, three, uh, how many hundreds have I got? Add that to the number of tens that I've got and add that to the number of units I've got. So effectively, all you're doing is you're adding each of these separate numbers together. 300 added to 40 added to 5. So here, what we're going to do is say we have one eight. So we'll start with that. We don't have any fours. We do have one two. So we can add the 8 and the 2 together, that gives us 10 so far. And then in our units column, we have 1, 1. So we add 8 plus 2 plus 1 gives us the decimal number 11. So the decimal number 11, that's 11 fingers and toes, in binary is the number 1, 0, 1, 1. Let's see another example. The best way of converting numbers from decimal to binary is to set up a place value table at the top. You can do this in your exam as well. So we have our ones, twos, fours, eight, 16, 32, 64, 
and 128. Now that gives us eight columns. And for GCSE, that's all you need. Eight columns is one byte. Eight ones and zeros. So each of these is a single bit. Eight of them is one byte. And eight digit binary numbers is all you'll ever have to worry about when it comes to GCSE. So let's get rid of that. Let's think now about converting a number from decimal to binary. Let's think of the number 41. So if we have the normal decimal number 41, how do we convert that to binary using these columns? Well, remember, we can only use one of two digits because this is binary, base two. We only have ones and zeros which means that under each of these columns, we can either place a one or a zero. How could we make the number 41 from these numbers? Well, clearly 128 is no good. That's useless. That's far too big. So we don't need that. We'll put a zero there. Similarly, the number 64 is too big. We certainly don't need a 64 in trying to make 41. It's too big. So we put a zero there as well. Now, 32, this could be useful. We do need the number 32. That fits into 41. So we'll have one of those. 16. No, that's too big. If we add 32 and 16 together, we get 48. That's too big. So we won't need a 16. 8. 8 will be useful because 8 and 32 makes 40. That will work. So we'll have 1 8. So we're now up to 40. 32 plus 8 is 40. Then obviously we don't need a 4 and we don't need a 2. We will want a 1 because if we add up these numbers 32, 8 and 1, those added together equal 41. We'll try one more example. Let me just erase this here. We can keep our number line at the top and if you can try and remember this number line or at least work it out in your exams you will be allowed to write that out in order to be able to work out the binary numbers. In fact in many ways like maths GCSE if you show you're working out sometimes additional marks are available. You may find that the question <clears throat> of converting a decimal number to binary is a two mark question. One mark is for the answer, the other is for the working out. And if you have a two mark question and you only show the answer, you don't show your working out, then effectively you're working at a 50% level and that's no good. So let's think of another number here. Let's think of the number 83. So how are we going to make the number 83 from these columns. Again, remember, we can only use a one or a zero. So do we want the number 128? No, that's too big. So we don't need that. Do we want the number 64? Yes, the number 64 will fit into 83. And so that will be useful. Do we want the number 32? Well, 64 and 32 makes 96. So that's too big. We don't want the number 32. What about the number 16? Yes, the number 16 will be useful because 64 and 16 makes 80. So now that we're up to 80, we can see that we're very close. In fact, we can see that the difference is just three. And sometimes when you get close to the number that you're wanting to get, if you can just work out the bit that's missing when you're close, you may find that you can simply work that, out, that bit out by itself. So if 64 and 16 makes 80 and we're missing 3, we can see that we could easily make 3 by having a 1 and a 2. Now we can't have columns that are unused, so since we don't obviously need an 8 or a 4, we'll just fill those columns in with zeros which means that the number 83 in decimal is 01010011 in binary. So that's simply how to convert from decimal 
to binary numbers.